Welcome to Financial Edge by Honest Accounting Group. I'm Enoch Garcia, QuickBooks Advisor and Lead Accountant at Honest Accounting Group. If you need help with bookkeeping, QuickBooks, or cash flow management, please visit honestaccountinggroup.com to schedule a free consultation. You can also find me on LinkedIn under Enoch Garcia. Now let's get started. So in order to enter a finance vehicle into QuickBooks Online, we'll need to start by creating a few accounts in the chart of accounts. So you go to transactions, chart of accounts, and then we'll go to new. And here we'll enter the vehicle name. So I'm going to call it a Tesla. And then you could do dash model name, whatever you want. And it'll be a fixed asset. Scroll down to vehicles. Uh, I will not enter the original cost here because I'm going to make a journal entry. Uh, but we will create a depreciation account. Um, okay. And then, uh, one, okay. So then we're good. We'll hit save. So now when we go to Tesla, we have, uh, the original cost, the depreciation and the Tesla model. So you'll select, you'll type in what model of your vehicle is. So it would be the brand and then the model of that car. Okay. Um, then we go to new. And we'll hit journal entry. Let's say the purchase date was today. We'll select original cost. Uh, then we'll select the checking account. And then um, I actually forgot to create the loan account. So we can do that through here. So we'll type in Tesla loan. Oh loan and let's just say it was chase now if it's under 12 months the financing then it'll be current but if it's over 12 months it'll be long term typically it's long term so i'll just select long term and then just other uh long-term liabilities and then hit save okay so this is how it'll look let's say it was 74 500 and then we put 10,000 down. So then that would mean that the loan was 464.5. So here we can put original cost down payment for Tesla. You select the model. Loan for Tesla. And then you select the model. Okay, and then we'll hit save. Uh, we'll hit save and close. Okay, so now let's pull up our balance sheet. I'm gonna go to the classic view, 525. And if we scroll down, now we can see we had the Tesla model, the original cost, 74,500. And if we go to long-term liabilities, we had the Tesla loan chase, 64,500. And uh, we can see from our checking account, if we scroll down, that we have a reduction by $10,000 for that asset we just bought, which is the Tesla, so the down payment. Okay, so in the next video, I'm going to show you how to record the uh, monthly payments uh, and how to break it down between principal and interest. If you like this video and it was helpful, make sure to give it a like, leave a comment if you have any questions, and don't forget to subscribe.